Yeah, welcome back students. Let's start with the next question. Look at the screen. Mr. Uh, I mean, sorry, Mrs. East and Mrs. West decide to amalgamate. So this is a summon amalgamation on the following terms and conditions on 1st April 2022. And their balance sheet is as follows. Give it. Now, if you look into the balance sheet of both the firms, okay, you would find that land and building is there, furniture, investments, inventories, trade, uh, receivables, cash back. And the capitals are also given of the partners. Okay. Creditors bank loan is mentioned. Provision for uh, it's provision for your uh, I mean uh, terms of amalgamation is also given for the first firm and then for the second firm. Okay. In both the cases, provision for doubtful debts to be created at 10% on sundry datas. So here's my datas. I'm talking about this. Okay. Yeah. Then inventories to be revalued at 31,500. So that's my, what do you call it as? Revised value. You even call it as the agreed value. Okay. Next comes, yeah, so my uh, stock is taken at revised value. My datas are also as revised value. Buildings to be taken over at 150. So that means my buildings are also at, uh, uh, what do you call the revised value. And Mr. Uh, East took over bank loan. So this bank loan is taken over and goodwill is also at my revised value. The same is for West also. Again, my data is at revised value, my stock, my investments, okay, and my goodwill, these all is at revised values, okay. So, there are assets which are not taken over, so that means it will be taken at my book value, that is the balance sheet value, okay. So, let's first calculate PC, obviously, all this information is given for calculation of PC, right. Show necessary ledgers in the books of the old firms. Okay, so what are we you're supposed to do? We have we will go with the flow. We'll first calculate PC purchase consideration. Then in the books of East, the old firm, we will make realization account. We will make partners capital account, and we will make the new firm account. Right. Similarly, in the books of West also, which is also an old firm, we will make the same account okay and last may we are going to make partners i mean sorry not partners we are going to make the new firm account okay iska hum balance sheet banayenge fine yeah so let's start with so don't forget my land is at revised value okay my investments are at revised value my stock is at revised value my trade receivables is at revised value. My goodwill is at revised value. So what I have, I have uh, my furniture and cash, which will be at book value. So let's see furniture and cash. See this furniture. And we have to go with cash. Ye raha. Okay, this will be at book value in my, uh, what do you call the valuation of PC. Okay, book value. Rest baki sab humne le liya hai, correct? Fine, so let's start. And don't forget, amara jo data hai, I mean jo trade receivables bola hai, ye raha trade receivables, this is nothing but my data. So this will be at 10% less, okay? So let's see, 80,000 ka 10% less will be how much? 72,000, so hamara data is over 72,000 and next, 155000 ka 10% less kar do so it will be 139500 okay so don't forget that part yeah so this is my calculation of pc please make a note of this theek hai mera jo creditors hai creditors ke bare mein kuch bola nahi hai correct kuch bhi nahi bola hai to mera ye jo creditors hai aur ye jo mera bank loan hai ye bhi 
book value pe jayega okay so any information which is not given those assets and liabilities will be taken over at book value okay so let's start i mean creditors bank loan okay bank loan ke liye one information is there that east took over the bank loan okay so for calculation of pc then bank loan will not come i repeat since one of the old partners is taking over the liability so when you're calculating your pc only creditors will be taken at book value and loan will not be taken okay so let's start so this is my calculation of pc please make a note of it i hope it's very clear now how are you going to calculate your pc purchase consideration is total assets minus total liability so this is how i calculate my pc okay so ye sab mera total assets hai aap in sab ko yeah i would also suggest students jab aap pc calculate karte ho to please ye total column bhi banao taki when you make your न्यू बैलेंस शीट न्यू फॉर्म का बैलेंस शीट तो यू जस्ट हैव टू टेक दिस फिगर्स कॉपी पेस्टेड देयर यू जस्ट हैव टू कॉपी दिस फिगर्स इन द न्यू बैलेंस शीट ओके सो ये जो मैं टोटल कॉलम बनाती हूँ दिस टोटल कॉलम एक्चुअली रिप्रेजेंट्स द न्यू फॉर्म ओके द न्यू फॉर्म का बैलेंस शीट में दीज फिगर्स विल गो ओके द टोटल सो इट बिकम्स इजी फॉर यू दैट इज वाई ओके so this is my calculation of pc okay total assets minus total liabilities so that's how i am calculating my purchase consideration 150 plus 28750 plus 31500 plus 72000 plus 28500 plus 30000 okay that makes it to Three lakh sixty-seven fifty. Okay, so how much is my goodwill? Seventy-five and fifty. Okay, I'll just make this slight minor changes. That's fifty. Okay. So three lakh sixty seven fifty. So this will become one lakh twenty five. Four lakh ninety one seven fifty. Okay. Yeah, let me just check. Yeah, sixty-seven five hundred plus seventy-five thousand plus eighty thousand plus one lakh thirty-nine five hundred plus fifty-four seven fifty plus seventy-five thousand. So four lakh ninety-one seven fifty. And when you do the total of this, three lakh sixty seven fifty, eight lakh fifty to five hundred. Okay, fine. Okay, so that's how I calculated my PC. Let's do it individually as well. Three lakh sixty seven fifty minus my creditors fifty three seven fifty, three lakh seven thousand four lakh ninety one seven fifty plus sorry minus one lakh twenty eight seven fifty, three lakh sixty three thousand. Okay. Is I hope this much part is clear to everyone, right? Now, once you have calculated your PC, now you have to calculate. You have to make your ledgers in the books of both the old firms. Okay, so which ledgers will you be making? We'll be making first realization. Realization maybe. पहले हम क्या करते हैं? We transfer all the sundry assets. Then we transfer all the sundry liabilities. Then we record the PC. और अगर कोई asset or liability कोई partner लेके जा रहा है, तो हम वो भी record करते हैं, right? This is what we do. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. Yeah. 
So this is in the books of Mr. East. We are making realization account. So as I told you, sabse pehla step kya hoga? You are going to transfer your sundry assets. Okay. Sabse pehle transfer ka entry aega. And transfer is always as which value? It is always at book value. Okay. Similarly, when you transfer your liabilities, it is transferred at book value. Okay. So these are the two steps that you do in yeah. So I'm going to transfer my land. Let me take it this side for you. Yeah, to be better. Yeah, so the total is 60 to 500 plus 28,750. 28,750 plus 34,000 plus 80 plus 28,500. Okay, or liability side B 53,750 mera creditors plus bank loan 30. So total hoga 83,750. Okay. So once you're done with this, then you get up first, you get up second journal entry, you get third job pass karoge PC ke liye, correct? 3 lakh 7. Journal entry is a new firm to realization. Or is ka second effect ki der aega, new firm account in aega. Tike, to first effect to me de di either, second effect pi aega. Fir up kya karoge, fir up, up ka realization account close karoge. Tike, realization account close karoge, to up ko balance milega. 3,7,000. So, yeah. Minus 2,33,750. So, I'm getting a balance of 1,57,000. Now, if you look into the question, kahi pe bhi old ratio nahi diya hai. If you read this question properly, nowhere they have given you the old ratio. Okay? So, in absence of information, when PSR is missing, it is always equal. Okay? In absence of information, PSR is always equal. So, now I will be dividing this with, obviously, 1 is to 1. So, individual total aega 78,500, 78,500. Okay? Iska second effect kaha aega? When you make your partner's capital account, the second effect will go there. Okay? Now, moving on to partner's capital account. Okay? The second uh, thing that you will close. Yeah. So, these are the opening balances which is given in the balance sheet. 66,000 and 84,000. And what I told you, this is second effect. Okay. Profit on realization. And then you get your answer plus 84,000. So 1 lakh 60 to 500. Next 66,000 plus 78,500. 1 lakh 44, 500. Okay. So this is the balancing figure. Okay. Which we transfer to the new firm. Okay. So this is second effect. Aega, new firm. Mein. Okay. In the new firm. So, the third thing you will close is this and this ledger has to tally. Okay. Then, ye jo 1 lakh 44, uh, ye, here go. Iska second effect idhar hai. Okay. Or, ye 3 lakh 7 ka humne entry dala tha na PC ka. Yeah. Iska second effect idhar hai. Okay. So, don't forget all these minute things. Makes a lot of difference when you're solving. Okay, obviously, then this ledger has to tally plus 1 lakh 60 to 500. So 3 lakh 7, 500. Same way you have to do it for West. Same. Pele aap, aapka sundry assets transfer karo at book value. Ye aapka first step. Fir second step aap kya karoge? Transfer your sundry liabilities at book value. Third step will be, you know, recording the PC. Okay. And then you will get a balancing figure. Okay. Yeah. So 1,28,750 plus 3,63,000. Okay. Minus 4,15,000. So here is my profit on realization. In absence of information, I said the ratio will be equal. 38,375,38,375. Okay, so this is very important. Yeah, same steps you have to repeat. Then, again, okay. same thing. Up, we here. realization account close karoge. Take it. Fair up, 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 partners capital account close karoge. Okay, yeah. 
जहाँ पे ये ओपनिंग बैलेंस दिया हुआ है बैलेंस शीट में और ये है आपका प्रॉफिट एंड रियलाइजेशन आई टोल्ड यू ना यू हैव टू ट्रांसफर इसका ये वाले का सेकेंड इफेक्ट इधर आएगा प्रॉफिट ऑन रियलाइजेशन देन जस्ट क्लोज इट प्लस वन लैख फाइव फाइव हंड्रेड सो वन लैख फोर्टी थ्री एट सेवेंटी फाइव वन लैख एटी सेवन फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी प्लस थर्टी एट थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव सो टू लैख नाइनटीन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव then we will close the new firm and the new firm ledger has to tally okay 1,43,875. 873875 to yahi aapka pc hai second firm ka right yeah and once you're done with all this then last as i told you what are you going to prepare you are going to prepare your balance sheet of the new firm okay और ये फिगर्स आपको कहाँ से मिलेंगे वो जो हमने पीसी कैलकुलेट किया था उसका जो टोटल कॉलम था विच आई हैड सजेस्टेड दैट यू शुड ऑलवेज मेक वन यूर कैलकुलेटिंग पीसी यू जस्ट हैव टू कॉपी द फिगर्स योर ओके एंड दिस इज योर लाइबिलिटी साइड पार्टनर्स कैपिटल से जो बैलेंस बच गया है वो आपको इधर लेना है ये रहा ओके न्यू फॉर्म बैलेंस शीट ऑब्वियसली ऑल्सो हैज टू टैली वन लैक फिफ्टी प्लस नाइन्टी सिक्स टू फिफ्टी प्लस सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस वन लैख लेवन फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस वन लैख लेवन फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस एटी थ्री टू फिफ्टी प्लस वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ओके देन इफ यू लुक इन टू ए लाइब्रेरी साइड दैट ऑल्सो हैज टू वन लैख सिक्सटी टू फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस वन लैख फोर्टी थ्री एट सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस टू लैख नाइनटीन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन लैख एटी टू फाइव हंड्रेड ओके सो दैट मेक्स इट टू एट लैख फिफ्टी टू फाइव हंड्रेड ओके सी इसका आंसर क्या आया था आपने सिक्स लैख सेवेंटी आया था याद है ये चार को टोटल करके अब आप एक चीज इधर देख सकते हो वेर इज इट वेर जहाँ हमने पीसी कैलकुलेट किया था आपका पीसी परचेज कंसिडरेशन ये होगा थ्री लैक सिक्स लैक सेवेंटी थाउजेंड ओके तो दीज आर स्मॉल वेज ऑफ हाउ यू नो यू हैव टू क्रॉस चेक योर आंसर व्हाट यू हैव डन एनीवेज द बेस्ट वे टू क्रॉस चेक इज दैट योर न्यू फॉर्म लेजर्स हैज टू टैली so that's also one of the biggest uh, you know step of verifying your answer okay so i hope this is clear to everyone so let's uh, uh, take a pause uh, here for today and let's uh, meet in the next video with a new sample